Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the property of Laplace transform concerning the derivatives. It is Laplace transform of derivative. It is if Laplace transform of a function f of t is given by f of s then the laplace transform it's of the then the laplace transform of the derivative of the original function that is f dash of t is equal to s times f of s minus the initial value of the function that is f of 0 so let us look at the proof for this theorem Starting with the LHS, that is Laplace transform of the derivative f dash of t is equal to by definition integral 0 to infinity e power minus st f dash of t dt. Now by using the formula for integration by parts, that is integral, integral g of t multiplied by f dash of t dt is equal to g of t multiplied by f of t minus integral g dash of t f of t dt. So by using this formula we can write this integral as e power minus st multiplied by integral of f dash of t which is f of t. And the limits are from 0 to infinity minus integral derivative of e power minus st which is minus s multiplied by e power minus st. And then we have integral of f dash of this f of t dt. So clearly at t equal to infinity, this is equal to 0. And at t equal to 0, this is f of 0. So this is equal to minus f of 0 minus or minus plus s times integral e power minus st. That is limits are from 0 to infinity. f of t dt. And this is by definition the Laplace transform of f of t. So this is equal to s times f of s minus the initial f of 0. Therefore, Laplace transform of the derivative is equal to s multiplied by the Laplace transform of the original function minus initial value of the original function f of t. That is f of 0. Note that this Laplace transform of the derivative exists as long as f dash of t is also of exponential order for t greater than n and of course for t less than n it should be continuous. Now let us look at an example illustrating this property. We know that the Laplace transform of cos of 3t is equal to s by s square plus 9. Now we want to find the Laplace transform of its, of its derivative. That is Laplace transform of minus 3 multiplied by sine of 3t which is the derivative of cos 3. Now by using the formula for the Laplace transform of the derivative this is equal to s times the, the Laplace transform of cos 3t which is s by s square plus 9 minus the initial value of the original function which is cos of 0 which is 1. So upon simplification this becomes s square minus s square minus 9 over s square plus 9. Therefore Laplace transform of minus 3 sine of 3t that is the derivative of cos 3t is minus 9 divided by s square plus 9. We can also easily verify this result by directly looking at the Laplace transform of sine 3t of course which is equal to minus 3 multiplied by 3 by s square plus 9 which is the formula for Laplace transform of sine 3t. Thanks for watching.